Hello, today I'm here with a video and this video I have been looking forward to because today I'm going to show you and I'm going to use my new makeup from Colourpop. I have ordered from Colourpop one time before but I think it was about two years ago. Um, because I live in Sweden and Colourpop is based in the US I have to pay taxes and stuff like that and it's pretty expensive even though the products are cheap it's going to be a lot of money for me uh, but now I have ordered once again and it was quite a big order but I'm so excited so I'm going to test out some of the products today not all products but some of them and I'm sorry about the cars outside so, um, I'm going to start to show you what I have bought and then we are going to test out. So you maybe can bring a snack or something because this is going to take a little while. First out we can start with two base products. I have bought the concealer, the no filter concealer and also the no filter setting powder. The concealer, I bought two of them because I have heard so many love them and I was thinking if I love it, it's good that I have two. If I don't love it, I can either give it away to somebody or I can maybe try to love it. I bought in the f mm, color Fair 2, 02 and this is the lightest one. I think they have a white one, but this is the lightest one in color, and this seems freaking super light. And I usually use this one from Makeup Revolution, and you can see this is more pink and also a lot, a little bit darker. But so this is good. I want a light concealer that can lighten up a little bit. I have never had a concealer that can do that because I am this pale. So I really hope for this. So I bought the concealer. I can write all the prices down here because I don't remember. The other base product I bought was the No Filter Setting Powder and I took this in banana. First I was thinking about taking the translucent one but I thought I have translucent powder. But I don't have a banana powder, so I took a banana powder. I don't know if this is going to work for me, because I am this pale. But yeah, a banana powder. I'm also going to try this today. Then I bought three eyeshadow palettes. I was thinking about buying four, but I changed my mind. So I bought a bundle of the... Solemar palettes. I mostly wanted this Soul palette because I like bright, no, I like warm colors. But I bought this also after seeing a couple of videos on it. So I bought, bought them both. I'm not going to use these today. I'm going to use the third palette I bought. But I'm going to do videos about these. So this is the Mar palette. This is not my kind of colors. But I thought that I have to try it. I really like this little green shade. So yeah. It's coming up videos on these. And the other one, the Soul palette. Looks like this. So this is more up my alley. So yeah. I'm looking forward to use these. I really do. The only thing, these are very plastic. They are in plastic, so yeah, but they feel very plasticky. Plasticky? Can you say that? <laughs> but they are very, they are a little bit heavy, so that feels good. So the third palette I bought was the Yes Please palette. And I think they have changed the packaging on this, because now it says Yes Please. I have seen people that have a cute AF on their palettes, so I don't know if this is the new packaging. So this is the Yes Please palette. I thought this palette was going to be bigger. I thought it would be like maybe this creepy cute palette. It's almost the same but a little bit smaller. 
I doesn't care about that, but it was just when I opened it, I was like, oh. So yeah, this palette I'm going to use today. I was thinking about buying Dream Street palette, but I don't want it that much. And it was more money and more taxes for me, so... Mm. But if Colourpop, in sometimes in the future, will have a European retailer, I will buy more palettes, if I like these. So this is the Yes Please palette. This is I'm, this I'm going to use today. Okay, then I have bought uh, some lippies. I have bought two lipsticks and five lipsticks. I don't like Colourpop's liquid lipstick. I love their lipsticks. I have four. We can start with the two lipsticks I bought. I when I was ordering and going to buy lip colors, when I have looked in my drawer, I mostly have, or I have a lot of crazy colors and bold colors and dark colors. And I wanted something more nude and neutral. So these two are a little bit more nude. Um, maybe not this one. This is a brown and it's called Third Eye. I can put in pictures of all the swatches uh, of them because I'm not going to use all the lipsticks. And I don't think I don't know if they're all the same the lipsticks, if they're all matte or creamy or and it doesn't say on the packaging. Oh well. So this is third eye. And the other one is Stone Fox. It looks like this. These are very heavy and I like they have little stars on it. I don't know if you can see it but it has. You can trust me. And they feel heavy and sturdy and that's a good sign. I hate like should I say um, when it's no weight to them so they just feel light and cheap. And then I bought five lipsticks and I can take them out. This was the hardest thing for me because <laughs> to decide which colors I was going to take at one time I think I had like 22 different items in my shopping bag it didn't end up, end up like this so I have two from a collection, I think, because they have a little butterfly on the lid, on the cap. I don't know which collection or anything. But the colors I bought were little things. The other one is Ink Blot. This is like third eye. It's a brown shade. Then I bought Oh Snap. This is a cold tone color and also by aftershock like this they seem pretty similar like this and the cap but they are not the same and lastly i but bought love life this is a red one i don't think these are all the same love life and aftershock are extra matte Oh snap and ink blot is matte and little things is cream. So that's all the products I bought. So now I'm going to go into the makeup. The makeup part of this video. So I'm going to try out the Yes Please palette and also the concealer, the banana powder and uh, one of the lippies or maybe two. Just have to drink a little bit of Pepsi. This you maybe don't know, but Pepsi Max is my big addiction in life. I don't drink coffee or tea. I drink tea sometimes, but not in the summer, only in the winter. But Pepsi Max is my big addiction. I love it. I drink it all day, every day. I will start with my eyes because I don't know if the shadows will fall or anything. So I'm going to use a eyeshadow base. Okay, so 
the palette looks like this we are going to use today and oh it's itching I want to use this one not the surprise I think and I al also want to use some of these really glittery metallic shades but I think I'm going to start with the base shadow I not always do that but sometimes I do because I want to try as many colors as I can so I was thinking about thinking about trying a base put down the base so I'm going to take full sip as my base color I have swatched all these colors and they were were very creamy some of them were a little bit drier than others but the most was very very creamy and this is really good if you're wondering why I always use eyeshadow primer when I do my first impressions it's because I always do it when I'm doing my makeup all the other time and it's hard for me to compare if I use an eyeshadow base with palettes I know how they work and if I don't use it with <laughs> eyeshadow palettes I don't know how they're working it's hard to compare so I have to make the same base I think it's more fair for the eyeshadows this was a great color for me to have as a base color okay I think I'm going to take big cocktails big cocktails in my crease and then I'm going to take spoiled wow I'm holding it upside down I'm going to take spoiled and Louis on my eyelid and then take mischief underneath my eyes so we take big cocktails it blends out really good I don't know if you can see my eye it's a little bit of kick up kick back up but I don't mind I really like this color it was super easy to work with and it's a I think it's a good color if I want like a daily look I can only use this I think it suits me and it's a really nice color so I will do the other eye if you want to see my other color pop haul I will leave it up in the card just remember it is on Swedish so if you don't understand Swedish you maybe don't want to look at it but I think it's mostly Swedes that um, mostly sweets that are following me so you can check it out if you want to okay and then I'm going to take spoiled this reddish this red color and put it on my outer corner of the lid if you wonder which brushes I'm using this is my favorite 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 blending brush it's the best blending brush I have ever used I don't think it's available anymore and I'm so sorry for that uh, it's from a Swedish store called Uliens and they're, it's their own brush and it's just a blending brush luckily I have two of these so when this one of these breaks which I hope they will never do I have one more so this is my favorite blending brush so if you got a tip on a good blending brush that it's cruelty free let me know and the other brush I it's almost the only brushes I use is Linda Halberg cosmetics brush I love the 304 and the 303 they're all it's like the same brushes but one of them is smaller than the other one so yeah that's my brushes okay so I'm going to use spoiled outer corner of my eye and we will see how this performs I don't know if you can see me okay this color I really like live like it's a little bit almost rusty red but not brownish 
I don't know how to describe it more than I like it. As you know, uh, or maybe not now, I'm in for the red life. I love red eyeshadows, I love orange eyeshadows, I love yellow. That's my corner of the makeup world. Seems to be something wrong. It's like the eyeshadow is stuck in one place on my eyelid and I don't know why. It's a little bit dark and a tiny tiny spot on the eyelid and I don't understand why. It's not equally easy to blend like the one in my crease. But it's nothing wrong with it. It feels like I have to build it up a bit. It maybe can be because I set my eyeshadow base and it maybe works better on the sticky base. It can be that, but if I tap it on, it's easy to build up. Okay, it was better on this eye, so I know, don't know if it maybe was something wrong with my little eyelid. Okay, I think I want to take it a little bit here also. Blend it into the crease here in the front. So it's the red shadow spoiled and it's good. I really like it. So now I'm going to take... This one, Louie, and put it here in my inner corner. And hopefully it will do with... I can only put it on. You will see. Or maybe I need glitter glue or something. Okay, so it is there, but if you want it intense, I think you need a sticky base, but it's absolutely working without. And only like this if you tap it there. And I don't mind to use a sticky base, glitter glue or something. I'm totally fine with that. So like this I think it's really good. So now it falls a lot. But I've really digged into the shadows and packed it on. So it may be been, been my fault. But I will take this fallout away and I will put on my foundation and then I will come back and we try the concealer, the banana powder, the yellow shadow underneath my eyes and also a lippy. So the base is on and eyebrows is on and now I'm going to test this concealer and I have no idea how light this is but it seems pretty light so we will see how this go and it's super light it almost feels like the white one but it is not now I am afraid it is too light for me and that my friends has never happened before okay so it's very very thick And it's a little bit hard to work it out with a sponge. And it just feels like I'm moving it around and not working it out. And I've heard it is a thick concealer but I didn't think it was going to be this much. But yeah. It does an okay job if it just look at it like here but it doesn't blend in into my foundation that good you can really see where I have put it and that I don't like in the camera it looks pretty crazy and also in real life as well it doesn't want to go into my foundation so good. Maybe I should have done one eye. Now it's better. 
in real life it's better on the camera. I don't know if you see such a big difference. So I'm going to take the banana powder. And this I was a little bit afraid it is going to be too dark. But maybe that is good now when the concealer is super super light. So I will take a powder puff. And this banana powder is super yellow. So I will... Oh, fuck. This banana powder is too dark for me. This eye turned out a little bit better. I think I maybe had too much powder here. Okay, it doesn't look that bad now. Now when I have really worked it into the concealer, it looks better. It's out here, it came up here and there. There, it doesn't look so good. You can see it's a little bit... Uh, it's supposed to be yellow, it's a banana powder, but I don't use banana powders. I will set the rest of my face with my normal powder. If you're wondering about this, I'm saving out my side cut and it's going pretty good, but been a rough couple of hair months for me. I have been saving it out the whole year. So in December was the last time I cut it to 3 millimeters, so it has been very very short. But now I'm saving it out and it, now I can start to live with it for most of the days. Some days it looks not good. Now it looks good underneath my eyes both the concealer and the banana powder when I have given a little bit more time and have taken my normal powder over it. So now it looks good. It looks pretty good. Okay, now we can take the yellow shadow from the palette. So I want to take this mischief and put underneath my eyes. Okay, I really like this yellow shadow. It's very good yellow. It's not super super bright but it's not like that like so hard. It's not like dirty yellow or something like that. So I really like it. So now I will uh, put on some mascara and highlighter and blush and then we're going into the lippies. Okay we are soon <laughs> finished with this video. I put on a blush and I also used one of my Colourpop highlighters. This was from my first order and this is Lunch Money. And I really like it. They are a little bit hard to work with but if you make it work they are pretty good. So what are I going to do for kind of lippy? I have no idea. I think this stone fox, maybe it's a little bit too pink and this other one is a little bit too brown. So we are down to the lipsticks. First we can take out Inkblot, that's the brown one, and Love Life, that is red, because I don't think red will suit this. Maybe one of these two. We have little things and... Aftershock. This aftershock is extra matte and this little thing is cream. But are this maybe a little bit too pink? I think I will take little things because my lips are a little bit dry. Okay, is this too pink? Maybe think it is. Too pink for these eyes. Yes, it is. Maybe I should take this stone fox, but I'm afraid it's going to be too light. Go with it. This is going to be too pink. This also.
gonna, I think it's a little bit Barbie. Barbie nude is that a thing? And this does not fit the eyeshadow. <sighs> okay, take this away. Third one's a charm. Hey. Maybe Love Life? No, it's not good. And not you either. Maybe oh snap. I think we'll take this one. Oh snap. Okay, so I think the oh snap will do. Maybe not the best color combo, but this is the finished look. I really really love this little palette. Yes, please, I love it. The colors are good, they are easy to work with, easy to blend together, easy to blend the yellow, get a thumbs up. So I really 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 like it. So I can really recommend this if you like these kind of colors. Of course I will try this a bunch more and I will try all the lip colors. Um, yeah. The concealer and the banana powder, now it looks good. First it looked like shit. The concealer is very very thick and I'm not used to work with these thick concealers. So I don't like it now, but I maybe will like it. I have to try it more times. I think I have to do one eye at a time so it doesn't sit and dries so I can work it out. So now I really don't know and the banana powder it's too yellow for me, it's too much color but I think I can work around it like I did today now. So I have to work with these products. I don't hate them but I need to learn to work with them. And for the lipsticks, I love them. The lipsticks, I have to try them more and try them both. So, I really hope you like this video. It's a very long video, but I really hope you like it. And yeah, it's coming videos about the two other palettes and maybe more with this. So, if you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up and you can also subscribe to my channel if you are not already doing it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!